Hi, I'm Mike Stallard. I'm the Director of International Ministry for the Friends of Israel, and I'm delighted to be part of the Duluth Bible Conference once again uh, this coming October. I've been coming for several years. I, what I love best about that conference is that we roll around in the Bible together. There is nothing better than going through God's words on his terms as he intended it. And we, we do that. We all don't agree on every little jot and tittle, but we are growing together in the Lord, sharpening each other in that uh, matter. And this year, we're going to continue with our uh, deep Bible study uh, by dealing with what difference does it make, understanding the importance of dispensational truth. And uh, I was saved in a dispensational church and really grew strongly in my faith. Uh, and what I'm going to do in the conference is talk about destroying the myths about dispensationalism. I have 15 of them. I may have 20 by the time October rolls around. I'm going to have to ask maybe for some extra time. Uh, but So we have a lot of work to do. Uh, and we'll have the older examples that you've heard about already. For example, dispensationalists hold the two ways of salvation. Uh, or dispensationalists believe in cheap grace. And we'll deal with those. We'll talk about those and make a response. But there are others maybe that you haven't heard. Uh, some of the newer ones. For example, dispensationalists are to blame for 9-11. The reason that almost 3,000 souls, American souls, died on 9-11 was because dispensational Bible teachers across the country have been teaching dispensationalism in our churches. It is really surreal. It's weird. It's strange. It's bizarre. All the criticisms that have been leveled at dispensationalism. And so we need to not just let those things lie. We need to actually make a response uh, as we continue to preach and teach the truth of the Bible. And as we do, we need to do it in the right spirit as well, because in the end, we don't want to misrepresent the covenant guys the same way that they misrepresent us. So come. Uh, I hope you'll come. I hope to see you there as we talk about the myths of dispensationalism. God bless.